Hi, my name is Celeste and I'm a professional illustrator and artist in California. And I wanted to show you today how I use a brush set I've created for Procreate called Mid-Century Modern. They are stamp style brushes that I use to create easy Procreate um, posters that have that mid-century modern look and aesthetic. And I wanted to show you today how I use them so that you can recreate the same look in your artwork. Okay, let's go. And started a canvas that is a poster size. US poster size is about 24 inches by 36 inches. The DPI or dots per inch is 172. And that's the biggest canvas that I found that I can get out of Procreate and it should be suitable to print, but not larger than a 24 by 36 um, inch. So go ahead and create the biggest canvas size you can so that your quality is gonna be as good as possible to start with. And then you can always scale down from there, but you can't add quality later. So I launched my blank canvas and you're welcome to work either um, horizontally, landscape or portrait. Usually mid-century modern is a portrait orientation. So I will go ahead and rotate my canvas, um, even though it started horizontal in a portrait mode. And then I'm gonna go to my brush set and I have created all of these lovely retro, um, semi-organic hand-drawn shapes in the brush set, which you can find at Creative Market. And I'm just gonna select a composition of things that inspire me. Also included in the set is a classic mid-century modern color palette, just to ease, you know, choosing your colors to use. They usually tend to use a lot of, you know, earth tones with a couple brights thrown in there. Um, you know, sky, terracotta, avocado, those types of things are very retro inspired. I love something like a um, yellow ochre, so I will start with that and just experiment with what I get. Um, I love the semicircles, this one I call bowl. And so I'll just experiment with that. And then I'm gonna vary um, some color tones for some neutrals and some brights. And let's see, let's try a different brush. I really am into this arch at the minute. And be sure to, if you rotate your canvas, um, the brush has a certain orientation. So these brushes, you can see them in the brush palette. It's, it's, it's going to represent, or it's going to paint similar to this. So you're gonna to have to rotate your canvas to get it, um, you know, a different, just facing a different way type of thing, but I'm happy with that. So yeah, keep, oop, keep rotating your canvas to get the shapes um, where you like them. It's looking good to me, but I, these brushes also come with a semi-translucent um, option. The same brushes uh, in a different brush set, just with um, a bit of transparency and some grain thrown in there too, just for some more visual texture. And I'm gonna try this rectangle and be sure to scale up and down the size to get the look that you're after. I like that a little bigger. Yep, and you just keep building your shapes. Um, let's see, let's go with something very Eames inspired and choose, let's see, how about a red and see how that looks. It's a little big, so just undo and uh, replace it. Try overlapping. With these brushes, they're stamp style, so you don't wanna drag because that's the effect you get. You just wanna tap and it's gonna lay it in like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep building. I wanna go back to the opaque set. And one of my favorites is by far this, the organic circle. So I will lay that in and I want like a nice fleshy pink. Oops, I just realized that's the same color as that. So I will probably try something a little more contrasty, maybe a green and scale it up a bit. Something like that. And then it's a little bottom heavy. So I will just continue to tweak and find a good composition that kind of pulls them all together. This is a very um, Alexander Calde, Calder, or Calde, however you say his last name, the, the um, famous artist who does the mobiles, that type of thing that's kind of um, evocative of his style, his supports for his mobiles. So I'm gonna go ahead, because he loved black and red, and try one of these brights just for a bit of pop. And that's, I might rotate it, Let's scale it down. Usually the shapes don't touch in mid-century modern, but, well, that's not true, sometimes they do. Okay, I'm actually not caring for that after all, so I will try something a little less, um, a little thicker, a little chunky. 
And as you can see, you just really have to play around and experiment with compositions, colors, placement, rotating your canvas, all types, all types of things like that. I might actually just go back to, let's try the amoeba. Okay, I like that. Good. Awesome. So you want to, you know, in mid-century modern, keep it quite minimalist, um, keep it clean, keep it a little bit sparse, good space between your elements, a little overlapping is fine, but um, typically this is the type of look and feel in a mid-century modern um, inspired design. And that's it. So I recommend if you are interested in this type of design, my brush set is available at Creative Market. You're welcome to pick that up. There are 32 shapes in two sets. One set is opaque, one set is semi-transparent as I mentioned with a color palette included there it is okay all right I hope you enjoyed if you do I would love to see it so message me if you can and show me your work um, and that's it have fun happy mid-century modern creating